सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज इंडस्ट्रियल हाइजीन सो बी फॉर गेटिंग इन टू द वीडियो लेट मी फर्स्ट क्लियर दैट ओ एच दैट इज ऑक्यूपेशनल हेल्थ एंड आई एच दैट इज इंडस्ट्रियल हाइजीन आर नॉट दैट डिफरेंट बट आर इंटरलिंक्ड विथ वन अनदर द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑक्यूपेशनल हेल्थ एंड इंडस्ट्रियल हाइजीन इज दैट OH deals with the individual worker's state of well-being and IH is the practice by which we can achieve better OH for the workers or prevent departure from good health means the better the IH the better will be the OH that is better the industrial hygiene the better will be the occupational health here OH deals with the well-being of the worker individually and ih deals with overall well-being of the workers the better the ih the better will be the oh if industrial hygiene is better then the worker working in the premises will have a safe working environment and will protect themselves individually so now moving further what is industrial hygiene the definition of industrial hygiene is it is the science and art devoted to the anticipation recognition evaluation and control of those environmental factors or stresses which are arising in or from the workplaces which may cause sickness impaired health and well-being or significant discomfort among the workers or among the citizens of the community so this definition describes that industrial hygiene is a science and art which is devoted to the anticipation recognition evaluation and control of the environmental factors or stresses which are arising in the work premises where the workers work which may cause impact to the workers health or which may cause sickness or discomfort among the workers or among the citizens of the community industrial hygienist use environmental monitoring and analytical methods detect the extent of the workers exposure and employ engineering work practices control and other methods to control the potential health hazard now moving towards the purposes of industrial hygiene so the purposes of industrial hygiene are it is prevention of occupational diseases control of occupational diseases increase productivity and statutory requirements means industrial hygiene is of great importance to prevent occupational diseases or to control the occupational diseases the rate of occupational diseases or to increase the productivity of the persons working in the industry or for statutory requirements that is that is to follow the laws which is passed by state or central governments so these were the purposes of industrial hygiene now moving ahead what are the factors or stresses which are included so the factors or the stresses which are included are first is chemical hazard chemical hazards like dust mist liquid vapor and gases these chemical hazards are having the potential to affect the industrial hygiene second is the physical stress physical stress normally involves the stresses which are on the worker in physical mode means it is physically destroying the worker that is high noise vibration high vibration low and high temperature poor illumination and radiations means high noises high vibration or very low temperature or very high temperature or poor illumination means poor light provision or the emission of radiation these all stresses or these all factors are to be taken care of while we talk about industrial hygiene then third is the biological stresses biological stresses includes virus bacteria infection then fourth is ergonomic stresses which normally deals with the person working or carrying away heavy loads in awkward position may lead to ergonomic stresses so now moving further we will discuss what are the three main components that is for effective program of industrial hygiene means which three main programs should be involved or are should be taken care of while talking of industrial hygiene the first most important component is identification of stresses 
where it is very necessary to identify the stresses which are there on the workers working in the environment after identification of stresses the stresses should be evaluated second is evaluation of stresses means the stresses should be evaluated on the basis of their intensity on the basis of their exposure to the health of the workers and the third and the most important component is control of the stresses means proper measures should be taken for the control of the stresses which are identified and evaluated so guys that's all for this video hope you like this video thank you for watching